Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you're, if you're truly Lord Hindu the Mad. Ooh, there's, there's some platinum around here somewhere. You may as well find where the biggest source of it is. Or not. Might as well just fall off a cliff. Hey. No, there's apparently still something left in this zone, so it's not completely depleted. I guess that was the last beryllium there. Okay, so. My understanding is, currently, journal, Helios assignments, and... But well, does it exist on the board anymore? So, guess that means we are done on this planet for the moment. So, extraction in progress. It's absolutely the button to use, even with the knowledge that it is not resources. Hello? Hello? What can I do for you? No mind. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. So track once a word, and after that I'm gonna head for EOS, I think. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Wait, Lexi. Your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. Very well. Two rewards to collect. Let's see what we get. 100% Milky Way data and some other stuff. Uh, what do we have here? What do the military boards often offer? Oh, I'm curious actually. Let's uh, let's let's see about this one. And this should be fun. Should be anyway. Okay, the strike teams are still on mission, and uh, let's find track, and then I think we can also chat with... Uh, There is truck right now. How you feeling, Moshe Sefa? Weak, but I'll bounce back. I always have. I've broken each limb twice. You have to do more than wipe my immune system to take me down. <laughs> well, you and my mom would love each other. How are you doing over over here? The Roka go to Kadara and recruit the desperate. I've heard a Roka recruiter weaving his magic. Even I was convinced. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. You still have questions. I'll try to answer them. So exaltation is how the cat reproduce? How did you learn that? They're proud of it. They welcomed us and spoke of it openly. We were becoming them. To the Ket, all other life is inferior. Even, I suspect, humans. They're going to a lot of trouble just to make baby Ket. I guess it's also a way for them to control their evolution. They incorporate only traits they value, and unique adaptations they don't possess. So what are the chances the Ket have exalted other intelligent species somewhere? I say those chances are excellent. The Cardinal said she had the Archon's DNA. So was the Cardinal exalted too? From what they described, I think they can be exalted multiple times. They strive always to be greater. 
And the Archon's DNA somehow plays a role in all of it. It looked like some of your people wanted this Ket gift. They walked right into those pods. As did I. Voluntarily. Happily. But that is part of the process. Part of the preparation, they called it purification, stripped our systems of all defenses. It was very painful. But after the pain came a beautiful peace, like a trance, like a transcendence itself. I willingly walked into that pod, and I cannot fault anyone else who did the same. Sam downloaded what he could from the facility. We'll be studying exaltation for quite a while. What was happening in that facility? It felt like a religion or a cult. Perhaps, but not to them. They honestly believe they are giving us a gift. The Cardinal seems desperate to keep that place standing. The entire facility seemed dedicated to one thing, exaltation. That's why I asked you to destroy it, despite the lives it would cost. I hope the Resistance can still burn it to the ground, but I suspect the Ket have already re-engineered that shield. How long were you in that facility? Days. After the Archon decided I would be exalted, I was sent to the facility alone. I was housed with prisoners who described how they were kidnapped, taken to holding camps, analyzed and separated. Analyzed? Until now, we never understood why some of us were sent to slave camps and others just vanished. The Archon chose to exalt me to use me for my knowledge. Perhaps others were chosen for their genetics. The Chosen? I'm only theorizing. I am a scientist, after all. I'll let you rest. Wait. One more thing. I spoke to a guard, a former Resistance fighter who remembered me. It described everything about its past, our past, with no trace of emotion. It seems that victims retain memories of who they were, but after being exalted, they live only to serve the Ket. Does your species dream? Sometimes. A Ket remembers being Angara. Like a dream it's eager to forget, which is beyond comprehension. Ishare Pathfinder. I'm sure we'll talk again. That doesn't sound like a good time for them. Still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second car. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promise. We'll talk later. I know it. Oh god, I was hoping to get somewhere else in this, uh, this time, but I think we are going to speak to everyone because that's just how I roll, isn't it? We can't come to the ship this often. It just puts a delay in everything. Oh, we never did talk to Sam. You are in my room. You always look hungry. He could use a bath, Ryder. No. Why? Hello, Sam? Scott. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons, and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it destroys it. 
I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. <laughs> uh, how are those jokes coming, Sam? I am formulating a new one. I, I like that. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I, I really did like that. That it was a rare medium. Uh, thanks for listening. No said. Right, thanks for listening to me. I hope you didn't come across whiny. Could my life have been different? Sure, could have been a dad. Could have had a dad, a mom. A rich upbringing at great prospects in the Durian civil service with the stiff colors and the yes sirs to go along. What I'm saying is different, it's not always better. Don't regret anything. And what I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either. From Ephra, words reach me that you found the pre scourge and Garon AI and that chose to keep it for yourself and send it to the Nexus. What's wrong with you? Chal explained that the AI itself was hostile and wished to go with you, regardless of your stance on free will for artificial intelligence, I would have liked to have made that call myself. But Anshai was ready to close the embassy, it's only because of your continued work against the cat that was able to persuade her against it, I assured her that you would be as cooperative with all data you discovered because of it, right? Please try not to be so stupid next time. Is this a joke? Uh, why did you send me? At first I thought it was a joke, but no, you sent me a hostile AI. Right there. Got a set up all cozy and did it Sam note, but not before she spaced a couple of crates of supplies headed for Podromos and displayed the gravity in Bath and the HQ. I didn't tell Dan or the others for now, this is a pure little secret. Okay, so we have a reason to go back to Nexus, because apparently we caused some trouble. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that, but exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, and everyone else on board. Huh, true enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. All right, do you have anything else to say? Ryder. No. We can talk more later. Sure. I like your bone outfit. It looks good on you. If I had the body for one, I would probably like it as well. I would like to wear bones like that. Because that's a good way to wear bones. This is a glass wall. I should not run into it. I'm smart, honestly. And just tell everyone that they can get back to it. That's, that's fine. Alright, I think I'll visit the marketplace real quick. Alright, that's another 6,000 money to me. Oh, we can do some more upgrades over here. What am I missing for the rest of these mods? Mikkel? 
nickel and platinum, copper and iso. So a lot of the stuff we could actually have gotten from mold. But I'm I'm not gonna go back there right now. That's 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 the way it'll have to be. And for scatter shot we need magnesium. Magnesium. And a lot of it. And I'm not entirely certain if this is, would be a preferable option. But it could be fun. So I will look into that in the future. Okay, actually, let's take a look at our N7 chest, which requires more platinum, which we currently don't have, because we used all of that on car mods. That's fine. That's fine. And the striking missions are currently still hours away from being done. So I will have them finished next time. So, huh. This episode did add a lot, did it? Nah. And I don't really want to push for anything right now either because I want to be near the strike team mission console the next time we do this thing. So I suppose I just thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. So yeah, bye bye.